Evernote has been around for many years. In the early days, it was the king of note-taking apps, but times have changed. Is it still worth your money? Let's take a look and find out. I found out about Evernote in 2008. At the time, I thought it was a great idea. I thought it was the first real digital alternative to taking notes on old school notepads. For many years, I didn't think of looking for any other service. Sadly, over time, Evernote removed more and more features from their free version. Because of this, I used the app less and less. Well, enough about my issues. Here is what is on offer. Evernote has three plans, as they call it. Evernote Basic, which is the free version, but thankfully includes most of the features of the Evernote Plus and Evernote Premium. The limitations of Evernote Basic will be noticeable to many users, as you can only sync two devices. You're limited to 60 megabytes of uploads per month, and notes can't be any larger than 25 megabytes. Now let's look at Evernote Plus. You can sync unlimited devices while increasing your monthly upload limit to 1 gigabyte. The note size will rise to 200 megabytes. Finally, with Evernote Premium, you get 10 gigabytes of uploads per month, plus some advanced features. At the cost of $7.99 per month, business users should look into Evernote Plus or Premium. For them, they may find it very useful. User experience and the design of the Evernote app is excellent. I can't complain here. It is very easy to navigate. The default desktop view shows notebooks in the left followed by a column and a panel. You can also resize these navigation columns and note panels. Notes have their own formatting tools at the top, just like any word processor. This part of the app should be instantly familiar. I have also used the Evernote app on Android and iOS, and I can report back it works well. Just remember, if you are on BASIC, you can only use two devices at a time, meaning one laptop and one mobile phone, for an example. So, what is the final verdict? If you are a free user of Evernote BASIC, like myself, I think you should look elsewhere. Business users should continue to use Evernote and all its features. Evernote is still at the top of the tree of note-taking apps, but for how long, I can't tell. <laughs>